one is a strange one, and I must tell you, <laughs> and some persons are trying to hold what we call curse on INEC chairman. Shea Usani has responded. Northern elders have responded over a planned curse prayer against INEC chairman uh, Yakub. Uh, we all know what he did uh, when he even read out who won 4 a.m. Why men slept? What you know when he mentioned who who won the election it was like a dead silent matter nobody could really speak and we were all wondering what has happened you know so northern elders have responded to this very planned curse prayer on you know on a, on you know INEC chairman some are saying INEC chairman is responsible for the suffering people are going through right now. What he did, how he did it, what he said is responsible for what is happening. Why, you know, Nigerians are currently, you know, not happy with the situation of things, the price of things and everything happening. He says this guy is, you know, this guy is part of the issue Nigerians are going through right now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Northern elders react to curse an INEC chairman's prayer being planned by some set. Former Nigerian Senator Shea Usani has taken to his verified Twitter handle to denounce a recent move and call for curse to be directed at Professor Mahmoud Yakub, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, means the means the suffering surrounding the alleged rigging the result of the alleged rigging of the 2023 presidential election. In a message he sent out, it says, She Usani labeled the campaign as meaningless and unnecessary. This rebuke comes in the wake of a national prayer day declared by Nigerian youths scheduled for February 25th, 2024, under the banner, curse be he unto Yakub Mahmoud for what he has done to Nigerians. Mm -hmm. The genesis of this outcry stem from accusation levied against Yakub Mahmoud with some quarters alleging that he facilitated rigged presidential election in 2023, resulting in the current hardship faced by Nigerians under the administration of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. However, Shea Wustani stands emphasize a different approach to addressing the challenges facing the nation, while acknowledging the frustration and discontent amongst the people he advocated for more constructive in, in peaceful actions. Shea Usani called for a more meaningful response, suggesting a departure from symbolic and ta targeted, eh, targeted prayers towards one person and said we should really look out for change. He urged against the prayer being facilitated by the youth and the campaign, which is currently being championed, proposed, enraged in a mass action that could potentially lead to revolution, therefore labeling the youth, therefore liberating the youth from the shackles of the current predicament, saying, please make sure you do the right thing. So this is what is happening right about now, my people. And you can see for yourself that uh, Shea Usani is begging the youth not to engage in this prayer. By the way, there is a call for prayer movement on, you know, uh, on all social media platforms, 25th of 25th of uh, uh, of, of uh, February, which marks a year to to curse Mahmoud, Yakub Mahmoud. You may be wondering, I say, well, why did they laugh? Well, it's just a bit funny, really. You know, it's just a bit funny. But I mean, northern elders are saying the youth should not engage in such. They should please not uh, not uh, you know take part in such. He said because it could lead to a revolution in the country, which may not go well. Um, it may lead to you know, Tinubu feeling pushed out, not accepted. And, you know, when you have a leader who is not, who is not a part and parcel of what you're doing, or does not, uh, you know, feel, does not feel included, you know, it may, it may drop his morale, you know, except may lead to a revolution in the country and that the youth should not engage in such, uh, that prayer movement should be cancelled. He said he cannot understand why that call is going on, that people should please leave Yakub Mahmoud, you know, and just, you know, uh, concentrate on elevating the current uh, suffering that the people are going through. 
instead of focusing on Yaqub Mahmoud. You know, Shehusani said he does not think that is the right way to go. So, I mean, on, 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 on social media and, you know, that's why they want to regulate it. Yeah, that's why, so that uh, you cannot, they cannot disseminate information in such a regard to put Yaqub Mahmoud on the spot and to let everybody know that he's, the, he's an object and is part of what is making Nigerians, you know, go through this very untold suffering and hardship. So Northern elders are saying, please eh, forgive the guy, let him go and let him go. Don't lay curse on him, just leave him. Hmm? Let him let him go through his own whatever he's going through. Just leave him, you know. So this is exactly what is happening at the moment. Yakub Mahmoud told Nigerians Tinubu one, but some people feel that there is something fishy. In fact, some people said he rigged the election for Tinubu. Some said he rigged the election for Tinubu. Uh, you know that's what some quarters allegedly says. You know, um, of course, uh, Yakub Mahmoud is the designated authority in quote and unquote to look into elections and to um, ensure that verification of the things are done properly. Then he cannot, uh, you know, call out a result. But in doing so, some people feel that.